quickly touch upon before we leave here. Have you guys seen this? This is absolutely brutal. Now the, the, the writing's not in black. No, it's not. <laughs> is the writing in black? Let me double check. I don't think it is. Hopefully it isn't. Let me not embarrass myself. Let me not embarrass myself. No, it's not. The writing isn't in black. The writing is in yellow, as it always is, to be honest. I always have it in like that yellowish type color. Yeah, it's there. It's, it's fucking there. For some reason, it's not flipping loading up. I don't know why. Let me make it to green too. Nothing's happening. I don't know why that is the case. I really don't know. I don't know what I've done. I don't know if it's me or whatever, but maybe it's me. Yeah, exactly. It may recommend computer classes. <laughs> yeah. You're funny, TV Huck. You are funny. You are funny. Funny, wunny, wunny. Anyway, moving on. Have you guys seen this? This is absolutely brutal. Big up Brian Callum for sharing this post of himself with a guy called Harry harry what was his name harry connick jr don't know who that is don't really care but i guess he was feeling sentimental went to a little throwback of himself and usually i feel like whenever people because i have a tendency sometimes to, to share throwbacks but usually because i don't post anything on my socials but i feel like sometimes when you do it it kind of gives the impression that you're longing for that time you're kind of missing out on that time you kind of feel like time is slipping you by you're not probably as hot as you once were you're not as skinny as you once were successful as you once were but in general it kind of gives me the idea that maybe you're not happy with your apps your current moment your current present self and that's what you i get to with throwbacks especially stuff like this because this clearly was a time when you know brian wasn't cancelled he didn't have an r word allegation over his flipping head and he was living a leader loca and well on his way to becoming the next inter iteration of flipping tom hanks but things changed and things went crazy but the thing i wanted to say that was awful about this you know he's just sharing a really innocent you know little throwback with him and his friend you know remembering some of the old time but look at this brutal brutal comment here this is from this person the internet is so cruel look at this brutal comment here from marshall look at that that is so unnecessarily mean just think all these years later you get to host a pod with shawb <laughs> I saw it randomly. I was like, people on the internet are so unnecessarily mean. He's just sharing a flipping innocent picture with his friend from back when he was really successful and he was doing a damn B. And then this person decides to flipping flame him out of absolutely nowhere. Exactly. As flipping Uche mentioned, 52 likes. Like, absolutely brutal. And I think Bre Brian actually replied too. So you can see. So I'm not sure if Bre Brian missed the point of the insult or he replied because he just felt you know grieved but i thought the reply made it extra extra sad look at the reply from brian callan underneath i'm living many dreams right now my man <laughs> uh he didn't get ratioed luckily you know brian callan's um flipping sycophants and fanboys came out and made him feel good with some likes but that is absolutely brutal in it <laughs> just make all those years later you're saying about to show. Honestly, that's gotta hurt. That really has to hurt your flipping ego. That clearly has to hurt, in my opinion. But hey, what do I know? And then the other thing that I thought was really funny and I thought was really interesting that showed that clearly this guy is suffering or wants the good times to come back, which I thought was kind of sad, was this post. You seen this one? This throwback Thursday post again that he posted um, with him, with himself, with Rogan, looking cute, looking cool, looking cancelled and stuff, looking young and whatnot. And clearly he's longing for that friendship and that bond to go back to what it once was. But when you have, when you have an R word charge over your head, you know, unfortunately, when you're the biggest podcaster in the world and you just signed a billion dollar deal um, with flipping Spotify, you really can't be having that guy on your pod to defend themselves. Even though I think that was really out of order, I do think Rogan should have stepped up for his friend. Even, even if he didn't mean he defended him, even if he didn't mean he got Caloni's show to defend himself, but even defending him in public would have gone a long way. The fact that he completely excommunicated himself from Brian Callan and basically told him you're on your own Jack was really really horrible and now here's Brian flipping posting these throwbacks of himself with Rogan in an effort to maybe get himself back in a good graces with the big guy the only good thing I think off the back of it is the fact that he didn't tag Rogan I think that's the one thing that's pretty cool I think if you would have tagged him that would have been really oh he did tag him he did tag him no he tagged him oh cringe he wants that good it's like when you're longing for that girl back right that that gave you that gave you the finger and told you to to skedazzle you want that good tang back you can't have it back anymore man he's out there in austin he's got new friends now um he's got a whole new crew of guys um the save our parks crew have basically taken over from the fight companion crew it's completely gone it's completely finished that stuff is over unfortunately brian kind has to move on but i thought this was really sad and showed that clearly a relationship isn't where it was once before i'm talking at my ass i know nothing about his people personally but i think the relationship wasn't isn't where it once was they are 
never really that close anymore. 